Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. I am an intuitive tarot and oracle card reader and today we are here for the new moon in Libra solar eclipse. Before we dive into this video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe so that you can see all of the upcoming videos. Also, I will be posting timestamps in the description and in the comment section. All right, so how has your Libra season been so far? Um, we have been through a lot of astrology events that have made the energy very heavy and very dense as well um, the universe has been wanting to work with us a lot more too I feel as if the um, veil has been thinning thinning of the veil um, so that our intuitive side can, can be a little bit more in touch our spirit guides are ready to, to work with us. We also just went through a full moon in Aries and there's been a lot of look and importance on social connections and boundaries and advocating for ourself and needs. This new moon in Libra really allows us to reflect on stability and security. There is an energy that really wants to flow freely and there's problems from the past that are wanting to be resolved right now. But there is some sort of underlining issue that is still lingering and I feel as if there's a lot of major blockages to personal healing and happiness because of lack of discipline. Our path is being blocked by strong attachments and old patterns and maybe even people from our past. We are pretending to be present or content and that's not really doing anything for us. So this new moon is focusing on whether it's physical addictions, emotional patterns, or old relationships. Until we really do break these chains, these things will continue to happen over and over and over. See what I'm talking about? How this energy is a little bit dense and heavy and maybe scary for some? <laughs> the new moon is allowing us to really... Um, connect to our inner voice and intuition so that we can trust our higher power or our spirit guides or whichever you choose to believe in. All right, so let's take a look at the tarot math that we have for the new moon in Libra. What we do is we take the date and we add it up and it gives us the number 12. We take that number, split it, add it, and it gives the number three. So the number three is about trinity and harmony and union it's also about expansion your intuition is trying to tell you something and we really need to listen to it this is a time to really nurture our spiritual side any creative gifts that we may have so that we can have like a new birth or a new beginning so that we can really advance and bring some sort of new enthusiasm into our life this moon is also happening at 21 degrees. This represents karmic lessons, karmic lessons of the past, and finally understanding what the universe has been trying to guide you to this entire time. We are ready as a collective to move on a little bit more enlightened rather than before. And again, this is just more of a very spiritual awakening for some. This is an eclipse season, so this is really diving deep down at who we are on soul level. You may have noticed that some of the organs have been affected lately in the body, like the kidney, urinary bladder, veins, or anything skin related, um, and even insulin. All of those things that are being agitated or affected is kind of representing how we need to release some negativity and take the mask off and start doing things that are a lot more healthier for ourselves. So I want to take a look at what we need to release the energy of this new moon this is a restart for you or somebody else in your life and this is a chance for a new beginning with people or other important things in regards to being healthy and well balanced whatever the issue that you are resonating to or relationship it wants to work things through now it doesn't mean that it's going to last forever but there's something about needing some type of closure avoid being selfish 
this energy wants to bring back equilibrium and any drama is supposed to be a stepping stone to where you want to be it's possible that this is a sign that you need to stay strong through any storm that you're going through but your commitment is definitely being tested so how can you achieve these goals to be healthy to be well balanced you need to put a little bit more effort Get things in order. Start paying attention to detail. Be more helpful to others. The person or situation that you are resonating to at this moment, um, it's strong enough that you don't have to constantly be overanalyzing things or constantly be so critical. There's a really beautiful message that I saw at the beginning of fall that talks about how the leaves are about to show us how beautiful it is to let things go and I feel like that's part of how to achieve any goals that you may have so if there's any guidance or advice that I can give you it's to keep moving forward you know where you've been so where are you going trust is going to be required to move on and something new is just waiting for you around the corner and maybe you just need a whole new plan to bring everything back together i think it's important to ask yourself is there any toxic feelings involved to whoever or, or whatever you are resonating to at this moment and maybe that's one of the things that you need to let go i am getting this big urge to tell you to step out of your comfort zone now the possible outcomes from this new moon it's that it could be really difficult to keep your vision clear to keep your goals in mind i feel like emotions may be really high and leave you more confused than ever but have the chance to settle down due to some sort of compromise but one thing is clear there is a new start coming and to make sure this all kind of flows freely for you communication is key so hopefully these messages are able to help you now or in the next coming weeks maybe even further down the line hopefully this gives you some sort of clarity or guidance that can help you and if you're looking for a more personalized reading something more one-on-one -on -one, all you have to do is send me a message you can find my services in the description or in the comment section Good luck in the solar eclipse season, everybody. Thank you so much for the unconditional love and support, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.